Tosin Agbabiaka contracted polio in his hometown Lagos when he was three years old. He discovered he had artistic talents and started to paint holding the brush in his mouth. Polio made me live as, as if I'm a beggar. Every Saturday I bring out my painting for people to see and people start giving me money. I don't like that. I hate it. The oral polio vaccine could have prevented him from getting the disease. Mass vaccinations against polio began in the 1950s. In developed nations, the disease was eradicated. But it still is problematic in some South Asian and African countries. Scientists say in the three countries where polio is endemic, the new so-called double-strain vaccine has been 30% more effective than the traditional triple-strain vaccine. Human trials in Nigeria and India showed that most babies who got the new vaccine made by two pharmaceutical companies developed immunity to the two virulent strains of polio. Dr. Peter Hotez is president of the Sabin Vaccine Institute in Washington, D.C. The idea behind the new vaccine is to uh, make it more immunogenic, that is better able to stimulate an immune response by concentrating just the number of strains that are in the new polio vaccine. So the traditional polio vaccine is sometimes called a trivalent vaccine. It has three types, type 1, type 2, type 3. This one, the new one, only has two types uh, with higher concentrations of the virus. He says the new vaccine provides stronger immunity. Polio mostly affects children under the age of five and spreads rapidly in areas of poor sanitation. It attacks the nervous system, sometimes causing irreversible paralysis. Dr. Hortez says eradicating polio has been more difficult than smallpox, for example. When you uh, are infected with smallpox, you invariably have dramatic symptoms, meaning a, the classic pustular rash that uh, many of us have seen, would recognize and see pictures of. The problem with polio is that for every one patient who develops paralytic polio, there's a hundred others who have no symptoms. So that it becomes a much more difficult disease to contain, and it means that we have to vaccinate large segments of the population to protect everybody. Local resistance to vaccines for political and cultural reasons has complicated the problem. The 2003 ban in Nigeria on polio vaccines caused a dramatic spike in infections not only in Nigeria. The virus spread to several neighboring countries, including some where polio had been eradicated. The World Health Organization says in the coming days about 70 million children in 15 countries across Africa will be vaccinated. Out of them, 55 million will get the new bivalent vaccine. In some countries, the virus has been more stubborn than others. Dr. Peter Hotez. In the case of India, one of the uh, thorny problems that's, that's prevented complete success is the fact that some populations don't manifest as robust an immune response to the oral polio vaccine as, say, if it were given in the United States. And that may be due to underlying malnutrition or underlying co-parasitic infections or diarrheal diseases. But according to the WHO, polio cases in India and Nigeria dropped by more than 90% after trials with the new vaccine. It says this could mean that eradicating polio is in sight. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.